M0FXP Hamtech, welcome to my channel. TID Radio have several products and many of them are Bluetooth programmable as you can see here. And I really like the TID H3 model. It's small and compact just here on the left and it covers five bands. The other one I've been able to test is the H8 model. It's a larger radio, more Motorola style, but also is Bluetooth programmable. You can also get this TID radio adapter just here. Just here on the left where I've got my mouse and that plugs into any Bofeng style radio and allows it to be Bluetooth programmable and you can use the PC software which now has Bluetooth connectivity. As long as there's Bluetooth on your PC you can program it and you can see the different radios that I've been programming here as well. Or you can download the app. Here's the app. The app is called OD Master. Okay, there's some photographs here, and we will demonstrate using that app. But today's news is that TID Radio have now produced a button because within the OD Master app, if you just look on the left photograph here, there is a PTT app where you can talk to your friends via the internet. So it doesn't PTT the radio, it's completely separate from the radio, but it's part of the same app. But you can send message, messages, um, ETC, and lots of functionality within the app. So they have produced a button, so you can talk to your friends using the app just by pressing the button. Now, as soon as it's available, I'll put a link in the description. But the button, it won't be an expensive item, and it's a Bluetooth button. And of course, I'll be testing it with other radios. It's designed for the app. It's also designed to allow hands-free driving. I will also test if it connects to my PC. So this video is more of an announcement that the button is now available. I, I do happen to be uh, programming my TID H3 at the moment. So I thought, well, while I've got that out on the desk, I will uh, show you the process. And in the description, there will be a link to the software that I'm using here. You can do the firmware, but in this video, let's just add a few memory channels. So it's just a UV5R cable. You can get them on Amazon. You connect it to the radio and your PC. Then you just go to Program. Let's have a look now. Set the COM port first. That's at the top. Set Communication Port, which will display in a second. And we'll, to know what that port is, right-click Device Manager. And when the cable is connected, and you go to COM port here, Mine is 31, look, okay, 31. And so we select 31, click OK, and I've just read from the radio. So what we're gonna do is just add, and you read by selecting read or write here, uh, or you can go program read and write, it's the same thing. So we've added one channel, which is hub, my favorite uh, is Hubnet, my all-star node here at home, we just go Hubnet. There, we just named it. Let's add my local repeater, 145.600, there on the left. Then the input, which is 145.000. So with repeaters, you receive on one, and one frequency and transmit on the other. The transmit one is called the input. Uh, we don't need the decode one, but we do need the encode, which is basically CTCSS. And it's 94.8, and it's high. I'm going to leave that at high power because that's quite away from me where the node at home I'll leave that on low because that's in this room and I've got a couple of nodes my other one is on 434.550 and that's simplex 434.550 simplex means it's on one frequency I do need a tone a lot of ham radios require tones to activate them without the tone people won't hear you uh, and then so that's four three and that I call that one let me think now. This one's called Hubnet 2. 2, and I call the other one just Hubnet. And then I then you put the name in of your repeater, GB3WR. Uh, and let's put another repeater here. We've got 145.750. Uh, 145.150 is a 600 kilohertz shift. 94.8 tone, keep that on high power, and that one's called GB3DC. And let's do another one which is popular, which is 430.925. Then 
the transmit is 438.525, effectively a 7.6 kilohertz shift. Uh, and then tone on that is 77. Yeah, I'll leave it on high power and it's called GB3FI. These are all analog channels. We'll do one more, 430.825, very similar, 438.425, and that's the same tone, 77 hertz. And we've got the name in there of GB3. You get the idea, GB3. ZB settings wise if you look here you've got edit you can optional features here squelch continuous backlight got there now we can either show the names that we're putting in or the actual frequency we can choose that okay I'll leave it on B on frequency breathe LED what's that Tone, mic gains there, step. So you get the idea. And the messages here, look, message one, I could put ham tech. When it boots up, it will say ham tech. Well, you could probably add photographs, probably. I haven't tried to see if you can, actually. It's a color screen. Lamp monitor. So I think that's okay for now. And then we're going to go program, right to radio. And if you watch the radio, you don't actually see anything happen but it is sending it, otherwise it would fail. Click OK. Hopefully, if we go into, via, into memory mode, I'm just looking at the radio now. A quick look here. I know it's not the clearest image, but let's just press VFO. Unplug the actual radio. Channel mode. Channel mode. There they are. There's all the channels. You can see the names as well. So it's definitely worked. And remember, we can do this if we want via the Bluetooth app. It's a different process. And you can see it coming to life. But anyway, I think we're finished there for now. Uh, the, really, the video was for me to tell you about this new button that you can see there on the steering wheel. And we'll be testing it in another video. Bye for now. 7-3.